Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Angelica and today I will show you how I did this painting behind me uh, where I used um, Faber-Castell water-soluble water uh, graphite and I did it, did it on this Arches uh, hot pressed watercolor paper and uh, in this video you will see a speed paint of me doing this painting and I will talk about my experience with this because it was my first time using water soluble graphite and um, uh, the mistakes I did and what I feel that I have sh uh, should have done differently so I hope you enjoy it so let's start and talk about the painting First I want to say that I did to try to speed up the footage quite a bit, otherwise it would have been a long video. So I hope you don't feel it's too speedy to watch, sometimes it can be annoying to watch if it goes too fast. At least that's my opinion. This is the first painting that I did on my drawing table without legs, or perhaps it's called a drawing easel. I don't really know, but it's very good to draw on and I could be quite close to the painting. Also in the future I can draw or paint bigger things on it if I want, want and that's a plus. You get a little different camera angle. But I think it worked out okay. At then, when I did some more fine details on the painting, I did turn the camera off because then you would have only seen my head, and that this it that is not so fun. To return to the painting, I did start it like I do start when drawing with regular graphite. I did put some pen strokes down and then blend them out. With regular graphite I use a blending stump, but with this I use water and a brush to blend the graphite out. And which made the blending a lot faster. I haven't drawn with regular graphite for over a year, so I was a little bit rusty of how I should put the layers down. If I should go in with the light color where the dark color should be, or just go in with a quite dark, dark shade right away. So all of this painting was very much try and see how it goes. I did some swatching of the pens beforehand, which you can see in the video New Art Supplies. But I did one big mistake there. I did try to erase after only one layer. And some other testing I did off camera, I also only tried to erase after perhaps two layers. I don't think I even tried to race after three layers, so that was a mistake. But when you work with graphite, you usually need quite a few layers before the drawing is finished. So I did find out the hard way that the water soluble graphite didn't erase after some layers. So at the end when I tried to erase to make highlights in the fur it didn't work at all. Therefore I didn't get a good contrast between light and dark in a painting which you want to have when you paint realistic. Because in real life it's the contrast to make things look real so to speak. I 
I also chose a bad subject for my first painting. This is a Norwegian elk hunt which have black in the end for a lot of the fur. So the tips of the fur, it's black. It can have other colors down below, but yeah, the tips are black. So and just the paint fur is quite tricky. This this uh, pencil is graphite in a way, but I don't really behave like usual graphite. And you have to watch out so you don't use too much water and make it messy that way. And I also haven't drawn so much fur in graphite, so I didn't have much experience overall with fur. So with the fur it was also much try and see how it goes. And it did go better at the end because then I had got the hang of it. But I couldn't get the light parts of the fur because, like I said, I have put down too many layers I can erase them which is the way I do when I have done fur or hair in regular graphite One interesting thing with it, these pencils are that you can use them like regular pens and draw directly on the paper with them. Or put a wet brush to the tip of the pen and use the brush to paint the graphite on the paper. In a way like you do with watercolor. That you wet the paint and then paint with the brush. The dog that I paint was my Tara, or in English you said Tara, but I am I am a Swedish person, so I say Tara. And I have told you about her in my video, my art through the years, which are my first art video on my channel. And she was my first dog and she did die in December of last year. So I like to paint her sometimes because the painting can be a nice memory of a beloved animal. And I probably will paint her in other mediums in the future. Back to talk about the painting and my experience of the water soluble graphite. If you never have used it before, I recommend you to try them out more than I did before you start doing a painting. And that you try an easier subject, perhaps a flower or something that is easy to paint. But not something with fur if you don't have much experience of it because you can end up like me and have a very hard time. <laughs> When you paint. And also have in mind that the graphite needs to dry before you put down the next layer. Because it don't go well down on the wet paper. And you can probably use a hairdryer for drying it faster. Like you can do with watercolor. I didn't try it because I want to have pauses when I paint. So that's my experience with this water soluble graphite pens. 
but I really like to work with them. I like both watercolor and regular graphite and this was a fun mix between the mediums. It was so easy to blend it out with water instead of with a stump and the whole process was so much faster than with regular graphite. I don't really know how long this painting took me but I believe it was around 4 hours except the time time of course. If I had done it in regular graphite, I do believe that at least it would have taken me like 6 or 7 hours before I was done with it. Once I got the hang on, on how to use them, it was quite fun fun to paint. The only problem then was that I couldn't go back and fix my mistakes. I only could go forward and finish the painting. So therefore I'm not so happy with the painting and honestly I had to put it away in a drawer for a few days before I did think that it looked quite okay. But now I know what not to do the next time, even though I know that my next painting will not be perfect it either. But that's how it is with most mediums when you're new at them. You need to spend some time with them before you can master them, at least at some level. I hope you liked the video, please hit the like button down below if you did and please subscribe to my channel, it would make me very grateful if you did. So here you see the finished piece. So thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you in my next video. Bye bye!